breakfast has arrived. It's like this. Elsie's just chilling. Good morning, beautiful people. I hope you are all doing well. I've got a sun kiss here. It's a bit like Fanta. Tastes really nice. Anyway, this morning we went out for the most delicious breakfast ever. Like, it tasted unreal. Charlie booked it. He found the place. It was called Hyde Paradise? Something like that. Anyway, it was like right on the beach with like, um, you could see the sea and it was really, really cute. It was pretty expensive, but you know, it was worth it. And yeah, that's where Charlie booked for us to go for Mother's Day. Obviously, it's Mother's Day back in the UK. It's not actually Mother's Day here, but it is the 19th of March. It's a Sunday and we're super excited because it's my first Mother's Day. Yeah, like I was saying, super excited because it's my first Mother's Day and we're celebrating it out here in Australia. Elsie is literally just by me. I'm going to try and get her to sleep in a minute whilst Charlie does a few of the bottles and everything because a lot needs sterilising and the mum doesn't stop mumming on Mother's Day. <laughs> but yeah, I had the most amazing breakfast. It was so, so lovely to go out. Charlie picked the perfect place and then we thought that we'd bring you through the rest of our day. I know that later I really want to go and see some wild kangaroos and there's a certain place about a 15 minute drive from us where you can see them in the wild. So fingers crossed we'll be able to see them because obviously I mean there's a chance we might not and yeah and then for the rest of the day I feel like we're just going to see how it goes, take it easy but i'm super excited and yeah just very happy it's also the first mother's day for my mum being a granny charlie's mum being a nanny and it's just i feel like it's just a beautiful day like a beautiful celebration because we've got this new life now like elsie is here and it is so exciting it's also first mother's day for like elsie's godmothers i don't know i'm just really happy about it i actually sent them cards before i left because i knew that i wouldn't be there and then me and charlie got our pet well our mums their presents before we left so they've got stuff to open but currently back in the uk it's about 11 o'clock no what is the time back in the uk two seconds I get so confused with the time differences because, okay, currently back in the UK it's half past midnight so it's just turned their Mother's Day. A bit later now it's half past two and we are just waiting by the lifts because we're going to go to Pacific Fair Shopping Centre. We went a few days ago, probably about a vlog ago for you guys, but yeah, I need to return one thing that I bought from Kmart because it doesn't fit me, it looks kind of gross and then we're just gonna have a look around it's also air con so that's great i think i explained in the last vlog that we have to do things that are air con or completely in the shade during the day because it's just that hot and the uv is so high like too high for elsie so yeah that's what we're doing we're going to pacific <laughs> pacific fair shopping center and then after that we're gonna go and see the kangaroos which it's very exciting. I'm very excited to see some wild kangaroos. This is Elsie's outfit. So this is the car we've had for the week. It's actually really nice. We had a quick stop at the shops. So I just needed to return something to Kmart. And then we had a look in Gander clothing because I got a dress from there and I love it. It's the blue one if any of you guys have seen it on Instagram. But there was a massive queue for the changing rooms and I don't know what their return policy is. So I thought, okay, I'll just leave it. Like we're in Australia for another few months so it'll be fine i can i can buy a different time anyway elsie is now asleep we did think that she was getting overtired because she was so cranky but anyway now we're driving to go and spot some wild kangaroos this is top of my bucket list like literally something i've always wanted to do apparently there's wild koalas as well but they're a bit harder to spot so i don't know if we'll see one of them but fingers crossed because i've always wanted to see, do that too i've also always wanted to hold a koala but i feel like that's only allowed in certain states in australia and it depends where you go like if you go to a sanctuary i don't know we'll have to research more into that maybe we won't end up doing that but i mean yeah i'm just so so excited oh my goodness all of the mcdonald's and hungry jacks and like their version of burger kings all have play areas for kids like why do we not have that i guess we don't have it because it's raining all the time so when would they ever actually get to play on it we're here we think anyway i think there might be a car park or some sort of space we can park in
Right, we're off on a koala trail, is it? We go off the kangaroo trail first, then we go to the koala trail. Guys, oh, there's one jumping. There's a little one with a joey in its pouch. Can you see that? Oh, they've kind of turned away. That one there has a joey in its tummy or pouch. Can you see them all running over there? Wow. Did you see them running, babe, at the back? Yep. So cool. I'm gonna finish off the vlog here. It was so amazing to see some wild kangaroos. Like, I literally can't believe we managed to do it, but yeah, it was so good. Definitely recommend that place. I'll leave it in the description for you guys because once again, I can't remember what it was called. My eyes are literally watering because of this onion. We've got, I did like half an onion. Excuse the mess. I did half an onion and my eyes are just like, not handling it at all anyway i'm making our tomato chorizo halloumi pepper cream cheese pasta still need to put the cream cheese in there but this is literally like a staple meal because it tastes so so good at home mum puts nando sauce in it and it's really good as well and i don't think she actually puts chorizo in but this is the way we make it charlie went out and got us some slushies mm. These are like unreal. Just sat down eating our ice creams by the shops. Charlie got, what did you get? Rocky Road. Yeah. And I got mint, because I always get mint. It just is so refreshing. And Elsie's just chilling in the shade. We have just arrived at the beach, and Elsie is here, trying to get to sleep, but rolling about. We've put this in the shade just so that we can have a sea view. And it's really, really nice. Right, we just tried to put her in this baby swing for the first time. She's never been in a swing. She did not like it, did you, Elsie? So instead, I'm going to go in here and Charlie's going to put her on my lap. Right, that's boring. Let's make this a bit more exciting. <laughs> Maybe don't. <laughs> For us, oh, Charlie's got her on the monkey bars. Whoa, clever Elsie. <laughs> We're now off to look for some fish and chips. We're just going to find the nearest place. I think we did look online, but nothing had like amazing reviews. So I think we're just going to see what we find. Right. We found a fish and chips just here and um, five pounds, five dollars, sorry, for like a fish and chips. So that's what we've got. And then they also got a Fanta, but Elsie is just in the buggy having a drink. And we're just waiting for our food. Here you are for five dollars. Looks amazing. That'll be like two pounds, two fifteen back home. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Also got ourselves a Fanta, which cost the same amount as this. And then just some ketchup. That was delicious. We're now gonna go get some 7-Eleven slushies and then head on back because our parking is about to run out. Right, we are now on the way back from Burley Heads. We just had the most affordable fish and chips that tastes honestly the same as any other fish and chips i've had like good fish and chips it was five dollars for i think i did record it but it was five dollars for the fish and chips so that's like two pound fifty back home like you would never find that i can't think of anywhere where you find that and me and charlie were just saying if we wanted to buy that for both of us in a supermarket it would come to more than that so yeah absolute bargain spend. 
like eight pound on that much card mm. and then like chips like a, literally a quid or whatever but definitely would have been double at the supermarket yeah especially at the supermarket here because all of the supermarket food is more expensive than the uk but we have been saying that we actually think eating out is more cheaper would you say babe i think it is yeah cheaper or the same at some places it just depends where you're going to eat i guess anyway we got ourselves oh my goodness my tongue looks so red we got ourselves a slurpee i feel like we get one of these in every single vlog to be honest and why not because they're one dollar fifty and taste unreal and like they're really refreshing they're so well. refreshing especially in this heat like it's 30 degrees it's been 30 degrees all week and probably will continue to be that we came during the start of australia's autumn and then by the time we leave it will be the end of their autumn and we thought oh yeah like online it says that all the temperatures go down and everyone that we've spoken to has been like oh yeah it's really hot for this time of year so I mean, we've got hot weather. It's literally like Australia's summer right now. Anyway, Elsie is asleep in the back next to me and we're driving on back to the apartment. Today's actually our last day in, I was about to say in Australia, not in Australia, in the Gold Coast because tomorrow we leave to go to Brisbane, which we're really excited about. We're driving there, which is good because we don't have to like faff around with Ubers and trains and stuff so yeah tonight's gonna be a bit of packing and then when we get back i think we're gonna head to the pool because we need something to cool ourselves off hopefully there'll be a bit of the pool that's in the shade because there was the other day when we went so that is perfect for miss elsie perfect. right we are just oh, in the pool God. elsie's doing her swimming i'll show you charlie's got her She's swimming good girl baby Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, she's decided just to float now. She was splashing around for ages. Oh, there you go. We got back from the pool. Charlie quickly had a shower. I got Elsie showered and changed. I just got changed and left my hair wet because I'm gonna have a shower when we get back. But we're gonna go out for like a final evening, maybe grab a few drinks or something by the beach. The sun is literally setting. Can you see over there? Hopefully you can. And then obviously the sun sets in the west and that's the east. So apparently sunrise is really good, but we haven't got up yet for a sunrise, but it looks beautiful. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna go out now just for maybe like an hour, get a few drinks, just chat, chill, and then come back. And then we've got a lot of washing, tidying, admin sort of stuff that we need to get done before we go to brisbane tomorrow all is very exciting very excited to get to brisbane but we have really enjoyed staying at the gold coast we'll talk a bit more about it later maybe what we like about the gold coast what we prefer about sydney all of that stuff we have been back now did we actually film anything when we were out i don't think we did but there was quite a nice sunset then we went out for a drink and then we came back and I made us sausage mash and beans because that's the meal we had left. We have actually got a few things left. Right, we've got two slices of cheese, some milk, ketchup, garlic sauce, strawberries, hummus, bread, cheese, chorizo, pepper, uh, butter, ham, and then leftover pasta that Maisie cooked. So not a lot. Ow. We ate dinner now i think we are going to try and take some of the fridge stuff with us to the next place because we're only going to brisbane from the gold coast and if any of you guys know it's only about a one and a half hour drive is it hour hour wow that's way closer than i thought yeah it's not far at all so i think we will take the fridge stuff if it goes off then we'll have to throw it whatever um but anyway we are currently packing charlie whilst they put elsie to sleep was cleaning the whole kitchen which was such a mess i'm not gonna lie and then he's just sterilizing bottles now i need to sort out the mess i'm gonna show you guys because we don't judge on here this is the mess currently and pretty much all of it is either mine or elsie's this is some food from the cupboard but 
yeah this is the situation our suitcases are over there i need to go and pack them all i've decided to pack tonight because i've got a lot of clothes that are clean and just need to get put away charlie's gonna pack tomorrow morning because it just works out better that way well, doesn't yeah, it most of my clothes are outside dry. yeah most of his clothes have just been washed and now they're drying outside it is actually really good this airbnb because we've had a washer and dryer we've put on four washes in a week which I don't know, is that normal? Is that average? I think it's about average. Isn't I it? reckon it's average, but I'm not too sure. So, yeah, I need to pack up all of our stuff, all of Elsie's stuff. This is probably my least favourite bit of travelling, but it has to be done. And to be fair, at least we haven't got to get on like a flight or anything, Charlie. Yeah, we're going to send the drive, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. Like, I'm so happy that it's a drive because if you guys know, our flight from Sydney to the Gold Coast, where we are now, uh, was not a good time. So I'm happy that we, for the next two Airbnbs, we're driving to the next one, which is great. And then we do get on a flight, which oh, I'm not looking forward to, but <laughs> I mean, we're traveling the East Coast. We've definitely got to fly. I need to get on with actually packing because it's currently 9 p.m. And I haven't done anything yet. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you did enjoy it and enjoyed seeing our day at Burley Heads. We did actually try to go somewhere else first, didn't we? But it just didn't work it out. Didn't work oh, out. And if we've learned something on this trip, it's better just to adapt it than stress and try and do the thing that you were planning to do. So yeah, we had a lovely day at Burley Heads. Definitely recommend going there if you're thinking of traveling the east coast because it was gorgeous probably one of the nicest beaches really good for kids as well really good for kids as well yeah so definitely recommend that if you were thinking of doing it i actually love seeing elsa use the park i mean she's not quite old enough yet i feel like you need to be like eight nine months to really get into it but the first experience of the park seem to like it <laughs> seem to be very unbothered to be honest anyway I'm going to leave the vlog here because I'm always chatting for too long. So thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.